I'm continually inspired by the people within my circles that are killing it within their own businesses or personal projects. So I've started this series as a way to go behind the scenes and showcase these stories that I believe need to be heard, as I'm sure so many of you would benefit from hearing about their journey of persevering, finding their passion, going through burnout, and then balancing everything out from running your own business and having a life in between wearing all the hats and the chaos and love that goes into it. So I hope you enjoy this and welcome to Behind the Brand with The Binding. I am so, so beyond excited to introduce you to today's Behind the Brand with Heidi Bartholomew from The Sun Lounge. This is a super special one for me as Heidi actually happens to be my auntie and I have grown up with her being a massive expander and inspiration for me within just general life, creativity and work. She is an absolute powerhouse of a woman and I have loved watching on as she changes throughout the different eras of her life and how she stayed within her worth and prioritized her values and also centered everything around this seaside lifestyle. Time for me to go over to her home, which just happens to be an embodiment of all of her work and travel over the years. And I'm gonna sit down with her and get a glimpse into the mind and the journey that has led her to this point. Let's go. How would you describe what you do to others or what you're most known for? Yeah, so when the Sun Lounge first kind of came into my head, uh, certainly didn't have a name. <laughs> hey puppies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Helpers. I came up with a tag and it was um, Seaside Loves and Wants for You and Your Home. Yeah. And it kind of grew from that. So really, anything that conjures up that coastal, seaside, tropical island life and bring that into your home. It's really what the Sun Lounge is based off. Yeah, and I feel like you really embody that with your own home and your lifestyle. Absolutely. Of who you are. Yeah, and I, I totally believe that. I, I now know that your work or, you know, you've got to make it your vocation. Yes. You've got to make it your vacation. Totally. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, That's so. so true. I think it's just really important. And you know, work's such a funny word. It's like, yeah, it's work, but it's mm. like, I don't even like saying, oh yeah, I'm going to work. It's like, um, it's gotta be another word. Yeah, you know? I so feel that. I've seen those quotes going around where it's like, you, if you find something that you love, you spend every day and every second doing it. That's right. And there's, I don't, I don't know, yeah, when you work for yourself, there's no real line of life and work. It becomes one. That's so true. Yeah. And it is, and that feels amazing. I know, it's very special. <laughs> it's really amazing. And it's been a, an incredible journey to get to this point. And, um, you know, I had an amazing 18 year career with Billabong and mm -hmm. that gave me the most incredible opportunities and experiences. And I can honestly say the Sun Lounge came from that. Yeah. I, I was traveling to these incredible island destinations and, you know, have a break or whatever, and go for a swim or, you know, visit, and, you know, amazing spots and locations. and. I, I had this sort of feelings like, how do I capture all this yeah. and make it my business, totally. you know, make it something I want to do and, and it became the Sun Lounge. Totally. Yeah. During that overlap period of the Sun Lounge really coming to life and you wanting to dive into that, I know a lot of people struggle with that transition of leaving something that does seem secure, which would have been obviously the job at Billabong. Yeah and then following that deep desire to then do what yeah. felt like what was truly you. Like how, how did that all go down? How did that feel and what's like advice? Yeah, so I, I was having this amazing career at Billabong and, um, and as everything begins and ends and, and it was time for me personally to move on. I had this fire inside me, I wanted freedom. Yes. And, and it's funny, I could even sit in my office and look outside at the gardener you did an amazing job. <laughs> and um, I was kind of like, oh my gosh, I just want to be outside. Yes. And, you know, so it wasn't an overnight decision. It was, um, it, it took many years and it was mm. rolling around and, and it was in my heart. Yes. It was, it was, I just wanted to stop. Yeah. I wanted to go to the beach and 
immerse myself a little bit more in nature. I just wanted to step off yeah. and, and I was able to do that. And I, I really, I left and I, I just, I didn't have a plan and that felt incredible. Yes. You know, that felt amazing. And, and it, it was really- It was a deep knowing, I guess. It was, it was a yeah. completely deep knowing. Yeah. And I, um, it was just freedom. Yeah. Freedom meant everything to me. So I was able to just take some time off, just, you know, the old smell the roses, yeah. did all that. And you know, and I got involved in some other projects which were amazing, but as soon as I felt that pull to going sort of back under into not so much corporate but busy busy, I sort yeah. of went, no no no, remember where you come from. And it was amazing in that time I reconnected with Jim, who um, I'm now married to, and uh, we have a great time. And on the tail end of another little business venture with um, a dear friend, Daniela, we, we did a little uh, bikini business called Bikini Lover. And uh, we were doing the markets and all that sort of stuff. And that was just great and that was creative. And, and you know, we decided to go our separate ways. And on the very last day we did the, the village markets as Bikini Lover, I took down some vintage pieces to sell and the pieces I collected on travels and just took them along and you know because I was rattling I, I had this sort of um, creative fire I reflected on all those incredible mm. travels and, and and it was always that thing like what what is it you know how do I bring all that beauty and all that tropical world and everything into what I could cr create as a business and and look I um, I had interest in these classic little vintage pieces though you know there was some hawaiiana there was some you know um amazing australian pieces as well and 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 i still remember my my first two customers and they picked them up and they absolutely loved them and uh i went mean, that's it i'm going to find vintage and create and make beautiful things and bring that joy into people's home. You know, I was super excited about that and discussed it with Jim and I know that this is going to be it and he was all for it because he loves a road trip and finding stuff and has an interest in vintage himself. <laughs> so good. And then the, the name came, in, in, in creating the name, I, I sort of had this other idea of like, you know, coming across a really old rundown seaside motel and then you went inside yes. and it was full of Classic, beautiful, you know, old furniture and yeah, like those the old seaside gems and, and that, and hence the Sun Lounge so painted together. And I, I sort of thought of it as an old seaside motel. So, seaside loves and wants for you and your home. So good. <laughs> That's so special. And it's so funny looking back, having hindsight and looking at all those little details of your life and then joining yes. the dots and like that was all meant yes. to be. Yes, yes, I, I had absolute moments. I remember being on the, you know, I love Hawaii so much and um, truly feel that aloha spirit when I'm there and, you know, I, I was at the end of a work trip and I knew I was leaving Billabong at that stage and I remember just sitting on the beach going, this feeling, all this, this is what I want. This yeah. is what I want to create. And I still reflect on that time. I think that's really important that special, to yeah. go back and join those dots, like you said, and remember those dots. Yeah, exactly. And um, go, and I'll go. Yeah, that's what it was. And it sounds like you did have that, like you said, that deep knowing, and you fell yeah. in love with all these aspects and took your values with you, rather than just like chasing a golden light. I feel. Yeah, that, that's that's that so true. And and I just that's that's the advice mm. I, I would say even going forward with anyone just it's got to be so like it's a hunger and it's and it's the daydreams and all those things but it's like it's going to be a super clear yeah. vision yes yeah you could be having a bad week or whatever but you just got to be able to plug back into it totally. and go okay yeah it helps at the end of the day having purpose to drive you yes yeah. that's why i think and I'm, I'm sure you've seen it in your industry and especially as a designer a lot of copycats pop up and I think that you see them disappear as quickly as they popped up because so they didn't true. have that purpose and they didn't have that so connection. True. That, that's so right and, and you know and it's human nature and you go oh you know what are they doing and maybe they're gonna be better at it than totally. me and, and all that and it's like and, and you just learn okay it's fine I now say that to other people it's like I know that, 
You're welcome. I, I encourage you. I'm like, yeah. it's fine. Like you're going to become uninspired because you didn't start yes. with that initial drive. Yeah, that's right. Social media these days, it can be so easy just to see, you know, the final outcome, the final picture, and just think that everything is, you know, this beautiful, easy breezy. But I imagine there's a lot of grit and hard work that goes on behind the scenes that people might not know about what goes into your business. And what yeah. You do. That's a great question because um, sometimes I go, oh my goodness, I'm on this seven days a week and especially with vintage behind the scenes things, it's like you've got to find it. Yeah. And we know the things that uh, the Sun Lounge stands for and, and, and what that vintage means to the Sun Lounge. So, you know, that's ongoing. Right now we haven't had a road trip uh, for quite some time. Like, like rest of the world yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the other pieces that I create as well and you know it's a, it's a range of ply prints mm -hmm. and you know that that's just a sort of another added little layer to the Sun Lounge and continually inspired kind of by the vintage and then yes. bringing that into the new so to speak and then you know in the last year I've been able to even find some you know producers of mm. product that has that vintage sort of vibe to it as well and I think that's you know that's great for our business as well. Also looking in our own backyard and supporting yeah. some amazing you know especially amazing Australian artists and sharing their works is incredible and then in the last few months another whole creation has come around well to me especially mm. um, and something called calling Sun Lounge Sun Pots, which has certainly got an incredible backstory to it. Mm. And um, it's something my elder sister, Wendy, who's no longer with us, she created uh, these amazing shop pots back in the 90s. Iconic. And, and, yeah, and had, uh, and it's amazing, people go, I've still got one, and yeah. blah, blah. She had a little business called The Deep Blue Sea, and I have a lot of her shell collections and they're from her days of beach combing mm. with her family and it's amazing to have those and I've had them now for many years and I stare at them and go, you know, they're so beautiful. Um, just been waiting for that thing to come about and well, it, it has come about. Now I feel like it's a collaboration of sorts. Yeah. And um, that's really special. It's actually really special, and I'm so going to be in the zone yeah. to do it. The joy that that brings, because now people are discovering those. There's a little piece of Wendy in every pot, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, so you know that's a beautiful thing for the Sun Lounge. Yes. And to you know, one of the most special things about the Sun Lounge for both Jim and I is knowing that we found these pieces, we fixed these pieces, we you know, sourced. And knowing that they brought joy to people's homes um, is a really special thing, so. And I think people feel the joy out of the products because they know that the love that went into it and finding yeah. them and making them. And people go, oh, how can you part with that piece? It's like, okay, we, we, we found it, we vlogged it for yeah. a little while, or you know, we're just like ready to in part with it, because that's where the joy is in, in so really sharing that. And when a customer finds that piece, and then for them it's a memory, so true. and it conjures up something for them, like that's amazing. So you know, it's, it is all about the sharing. Kind of expanding on what we were talking about earlier, where when you work for yourself, there becomes such a blur between life and work, which can be beautiful at times, but at another times when it becomes big, hectic, it can become overwhelming. So. How do you aim to find balance in those times of overwhelm? Yes, that's another very good question. <laughs> because I remember where I was, I guess, in my previous career and knowing those sort of levels of stress that I didn't enjoy. Mm -hmm. I haven't been back there. Yeah. So in the way we set up the Sun Lounge, I've made it manageable. In saying that, like I said, yeah, it'd be time to go, oh my goodness, this is seven days a week. Totally. And then it's just like, okay, come on. Yeah, and at the end of the day, it's like there's a level of grit and time and energy that does need to go into yes. doing your own stuff. But yes, it's about, no, I think awareness, don't you? It's is, awareness. Yeah, And go, okay, I'm feeling a little edgy and like, yeah. what is it? It's like, just calm down a bit. It can wait. Totally. It actually can wait. The world's not going to end mm -hmm. because you haven't done an Instagram post. And oh, it's that. You've really got to be aware of that. And then it's like, stop, go for a bike ride, 
get her throw yourself in the ocean, yeah. go do some snorkeling. Yeah, it's it's really really important. It is. Uh, and because you then you know, you know when your busy times are coming. You know it's going to be a little hectic. Yep. But you know just also going all right at the end of this, this is how it's looking. Yeah. <laughs> really important. We're so lucky to have the ocean and oh my that connection with that because it is such a good cleansing process. Isn't it? The older I get, the more powerful it yeah. is. And. You know, we just had an incredible summer of snorkeling, <laughs> and that actually started in our last trip to Hawaii. And honestly, we were like two kids in the water, and we we're watching these um, girls, and we we're going, "Wow, what are they doing?" They were shelling, which means like they were fully looking for shells. And so we had all our gear with us, and so got into it. And you know, we were just having so much fun. And you yeah. know, that's that thing about plugging in, and yeah. so. You know, if you're having a, a stressful time or, or, or whatever, just be able to plug in and, and create those moments in your life. I mean, it's up to you to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, find those small joys, whatever. And then, you know, completely reinvigorated and excited. Yes. So important. To go on with the jobs. Yeah. You know? It's, yeah, it, it's that. So knowing everything that you know from all the different lives and evolutions that you've been through, with Billabong and with your own business, what is some bit of wisdom that you would part on yourself looking back when she was just starting out on this journey? I had an unwavering kind of faith or knowing that I was going to achieve, yeah. you know, as a young woman. Um, not even knowing really exactly what it was, because actually there really wasn't the opportunities way back then, um, that I had this burning desire to achieve yeah. and um, I, I, can, I know what it is. I then had that same feeling in creating the Sun Lounge. I, I could just go, that's that same thing, yeah. the, the thing. And um, you know, I, I think you would talk to anyone who created uh, any type of business and yeah, it's that burning desire to achieve and create mm -hmm. and I guess you know you, you've got to work on the doubt the self-doubt but it's like really just you know keeping that that burning desire alive and healthy and buoyant and yeah it's just like just don't lose sight just yeah. don't just you know and there can be steps backwards but you know what that's all part of it you, you have the failures you have the you know disappointment it, it's all part of it, and, and, and then you plug back in to that desire to yeah. keep going and keep creating. So I can sort of almost say to myself, you, you, you know, you, you did that. Like yeah. and, and, you know, if someone doubted you, it's mm. like that's sort of the, that gives me the greatest fire. I know. It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Same. No problem. I'll prove you wrong. Yeah, yeah. so, you know, that's, um, that's a great one. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of touching on what you were saying before, there are so many setbacks and I guess they help shape us and help us learn if we take them on board, especially on those harder days. How do you keep inspired or what helps anchor you to persist? The original thoughts and desire, um, well I guess for freedom, mm. you know, to create that thing that you know it, it isn't a burden you're not tied to it i mean so many people are unhappy in so many jobs and life and it's like and you can, can change it you can and i think a lot of that comes down to getting caught up and obviously everyone's situation is different mm, yes. but getting caught up in external perception and trying to fulfill other people's needs and happiness rather than listening within and following that which is hard because of course you're trying to balance it all the time but yeah i think that's where you get lost is because i've been on that path where you're ticking on these boxes yeah. and getting approval externally and then you get to a point and you're like I don't recognize that person right who is. yeah and then you just feel a bit lost but yeah, yes. as soon as you get back on path of being true yeah who you that's, are. that's so true and um, I can look back and, and totally recognize that from past careers yeah. and then now it's like oh yeah I know that little thing it's like yes you draw boundaries almost and have uh, absolutely yeah know your values and your worth yeah that's Absolutely, knowing your worth yeah. is everything. Is there anything in particular at the moment that you're grateful for or that is really exciting you, whether that's life or work related? I'm still really grateful for my freedom. Yeah. And 
the freedom to create this business um, and the freedom we have in our community and world to be able to do this. I think that's just a gift, and especially in light of everything going on in the world right now. So much to be grateful for. And I remain excited knowing that we're going to bring joy to people's homes in, in the pieces we find, we rescue, we create and um, and, and source. Um, you know, that, that's a really lovely that is sort exciting. of feeling and uh, knowing that we're, we're just part of people's households and yeah, um, yeah it's, a, it's, a, it's a small thing but it's kind of, uh, you know, we spend so much time at home and I think your home so should good. be a reflection of who you are, how you live your life and yeah. Um, the energy, be like oh, oasis absolutely. where you can be, feel safe and inspired. Yeah, so you go helping people do that. The Sun Lounge um, will continue to do that. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for answering all these questions and giving us a little insight into your journey, which I'm sure will be so inspiring for other people. Where can everyone find you online or whereabouts in the world? We began our journey at the village markets, and then one of the greatest opportunities. We were asked to come aboard the beautiful space that's called Hartfield up at uh, Burley Head. So I've been there from day one and it actually is my dream as well because I wanted to be part of a shared space and I just sort of put that out there to the universe. It's like yes. I don't want my own shop, I've been there, done that. Yeah. I just made part of like-minded people and energy and it has come about and um, yeah, it's wonderful. So it's a very um, beautiful space. Come and uh, see us and check us out and find mm -hmm. yourself a little treasure. Yeah. <laughs> and then on the gram and online. Yes, of course. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we've um, sort of switched over to the Heartful website, which I, is great. So you know, perfect. then you can just let your fingers do the uh, walking yeah. and find all sorts of beautiful things. And then, um, of course, there's also. Um, Instagram, which I I love it. I love Instagram. I love the Instagram family, and, yeah. and just create so many amazing relationships. I love those ones where I, it still gets me every time. And like they'll come and visit and go, oh, we follow you, and we come from yeah. Melbourne or Sydney or Hawaii or wherever, and we come to see you. It's like that is something so special. It is. It's really incredible how there's definitely some downsides to it, and it can be mm. overwhelming at times. Yeah. But it is so so powerful for helping build a community of like-minded people that we otherwise wouldn't be able to reach just that's right day-to-day -day lives exactly and um, you know we'll, we'll post something and we'll get a sale from there and that's always amazing too you know or just a great conversation and that yeah. sharing experience and yeah it's, it's amazing well everybody jump on board and definitely follow the sun lounge and get a sneak peek into all the behind the scenes and hard work and love that goes into their pieces and can't wait to see what comes next for you guys. It's so exciting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an amazing journey and uh, we love it. Yeah. Thank you.